does dissolve instantly in liquid. All right. Uh, so keep reading the sage directions. Yep. Sorry. No, it's okay. <laughs> Cut to Mazzini, watching excitedly as the man in black takes the goblets, turns his back. A moment later, he turns again, faces Mazzini. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, this is also a game for the viewers. Maybe I poured it in, maybe I didn't. Next one. We we, we totally don't see that at all. No, we don't see him pouring it in. That's all right. As long as, as, long as uh, Vicini doesn't, and he won't because I'm playing a different character this moment. Vicini is, is idle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did see that. Sorry. It's all good. <laughs> the man in black rotates the goblets in a little shell game maneuver and puts one glass in front of Vizzini, the other in front of himself. Yeah, I. it kind of like affects the wine a little bit. <laughs> it does, but there's more in that. There's it's in both of them. I just I don't have a lot of control over the pouring. Fair enough. <laughs> all right, uh, all right. Where is the poison? The battle of wits has begun, and it ends when you decide. Uh, it it ends when you decide, and we both drink, and we find out who is right, and who is dead. But it's so simple. All I have to do is divide from what I know of you. Are you the sort of man who would put the poison into his own goblet or his enemies? He studies the man in black now. Now, a clever man would put the poison into his own goblet because he would know that only a great fool would reach for what he was given. I'm not a great fool, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you must have known I was not a great fool, and you could have counted on it, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You've made your decision then, Seven? (laughs) (laughs) Not remotely, because Iacane comes from Australia, and Australia, as everyone knows, is entirely peopled with criminals. Hi, Frankie. (laughs) (laughs) And criminals are used to having people not trust them, as you are not trusted by me, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. Truly, you have a dizzying intellect. Wait till I get going! Where was I? (laughs) Australia. Yes, Australia! And you must have suspected I would have known the powder's origin, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. You're just stalling now. (laughs) You'd like to think that, wouldn't you? You've beaten my giant, which means you're exceptionally strong. So you could have put the poison in your own goblet, trusting on your safe strength to save you. Oh, mm-hmm. I did it. What? Me? Never. What? Me? <laughs> me? Rely on my strength against a poison. <laughs> uh, so I can clearly not choose the wine in front of you. But you've also bested my Spaniard, which means you must have studied. And in studying, you must have learned that man is mortal, so you would have put the poison as far away from yourself as possible. So I can clearly not choose the wine in front of me. A plus logic, <laughs> on all counts. It, it, it totally is. It makes sense. What would it really have? Would it really have taken the studies to learn that man is mortal? He's he's, he's yeah. He's, that's he's, the he's, thing. <laughs> no, he is. He is. It yeah. is canon that he is bullshitting. He is trying to stall because he yeah. thinks to be tall. No, Wesley. So he's he makes less and less sense the more he talks because he's just vampire. Yeah. <laughs> As Vizzini's uh, pleasure has been growing throughout, the man in black has been fast disappearing. Uh, you're trying to trick me into giving away something. It won't work. It has worked. You've already given every away everything. I know where the poison is. Then make your choice. I will, and I choose. Suddenly he stops. Look behind you! A three-headed monkey! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, where? I don't see anything. Cut to Vizzini, busy switching the goblets while the man in black has his head turn. Oh, I'm tired! I could have sworn I saw something! No matter. Vizzini starts to laugh. <laughs> What's so funny? I- I- I'll tell you in a minute. First, let's drink. Me from my glass, and you from yours. 
and he picks up his goblet. The man in black picks up the one in front of him, and as they both start to drink, Vazini hesitates a moment. What? Then, allowing the man what? in black to drink first, he swallows what? his wine. Uh, one sec. <laughs> this is real wine. <laughs> <laughs> With baking soda? I'm sure it's delicious. I'll explain it to you later. Okay. <laughs> oh, there may have actually been some apricot powder in that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You guessed wrong. I don't. Whoops. <laughs> All right. We're good. We're good from here. You guessed wrong. <laughs> You only think I guessed wrong! That's what's so funny! I switched glasses while your back was turned! You fool! <laughs> you fell victim to one of the classic blunders! The most famous is never get involved in a land war in Asia! But only slightly less, less well known is this! Never go in against the Sicilian when death is on the line! <laughs> <laughs> he laughs and roars and cackles and whoops and is always, in always, quite cheery until he falls over dead. <laughs> Cut to the man in black stepping past the corpse, <clears throat> taking the blindfold and bindings off Buttercup, who notices Vizini lying dead. The man in black pulls her to her feet. Who are you? I am no one to be trifled with. Don't trifle. Don't you trifle. Don't you trifle. Trifle, trifle. <laughs> <laughs> that is all you ever need to know. Wait, he starts to lead her off the mountain path into untraveled terrain. Untrifled terrain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's ready this for a fresh trifle. Trifle free zone. <laughs> Don't trifle. Okay, where are we? Oh. To think. All that time it was your cup that was poisoned. Uh okay. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. <laughs> they were both happening? I spent the last few years building an immunity to Iacane powder. I think. And with that, he takes off, dragging <laughs> her behind him. Cut to a mountain path. It's where Fezzik fought the man in black. Camera pulls back to reveal the prince, kneeling, inspecting every grain of misplaced sand. Like a the Chinese wait behind vampire. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has beaten a giant. There will be great suffering in Gilda if she dies. Roar. He leaps onto his horse and they charge off. Oh wait, leap onto your horse real quick, Dave. <laughs> wait, is that a is that a wheelchair? Is that a is that an office chair with wheels? It is an office chair with wheels. Do you want me to you ride it around like go for a little ride for just a second? <laughs> 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 There, people have fun with that clip out of context. Now, 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 now who's got the coconuts? <laughs> <laughs> the man in black comes running into view, still dragging Buttercup, who sometimes stumbles. But he keeps forcing her along. Finally, when she's close to exhaustion, he lets go of her. His voice gotcha. is harsh, carrying the promise of violence. Catch your breath. If you'll release me, whatever you ask for ransom, you'll get it. I promise you. And what is that worth? The promise of a woman? You're very funny, Highness. I was giving you a chance. No matter where you take me, there's no greater hunter than Prince Humperdinck. He could track a falcon on a cloudy day. He can find you. And you think your dearest love will save you? I never said he was my dearest love. And yes, he will save me. That I know. You admit to me you do not love your fiancé. He knows I do not love him. Or not capable of love is what you mean. I have loved more deeply than a killer like yourself could ever dream. And the man in black cocks back a fist. Buttercup flinches but does not retreat. That was a warning, Highness. The next time my hand flies on its own. For where I come from, there are penalties when a woman lies. 
Cut to Vizzini's body. The picnic is spread as before. Camera pulls back to reveal the prince kneeling by the body as the others ride up. The prince grabs the empty poison packet, hands it to Rugen after first sniffing it himself. I okay. I bet my life on it. I can tell by the lack of odor. <laughs> Smell, smells and like it, nothing. Wait, smells like nothing. Must be Iocane <laughs> or nothing. Those are the two options. <laughs> there are only two things in this world that smells like nothing: Iocane and nothing. And this doesn't look like nothing. This doesn't look like nothing. Plus, there's a dead man, so probably Iocane. <laughs> Maybe he died of old age. <laughs> Sudden onset old age. <laughs> and now the princess's footprints. She is alive. Or was an hour ago. If she is otherwise, when I find her, I shall be very put out. And as he vaults onto his horse, and they all charge off. Go on, Dave. To... Yes. I'll take... <laughs> <laughs> I can make it look worse. <laughs> yes, please make it worse. Cut to, what? <laughs> Cut to Buttercup being spun into camera view, falling heavily as the man in black releases her. We are at the edge of an almost sheer ravine. The drop is sharp and severe. Below the ravine floor is flat, but getting there would not be half the fun. Rest, Highness. Dare is at him. I know who you are. Your cruelty, your cruelty, cruelty reveals everything. The man in black says nothing. You're the Jade Pirate Roberts, admit it. With pride. What can I do for you? Happy pride. Thank you. You can die slowly cut into a thousand pieces. Hardly complimentary, your highness. Why loose your venom on me? <laughs> <laughs> princess? Closer. Princess? Close up on Buttercup. Buttercup dies? Spoilers. Okay. My right side up. Am, is is this... Is it, yeah. It's not even loading now. No, okay. It looks good. It looks good on our end. Yeah, you're good. Okay. Incredible. I can't see anything, Great. but where are we? Oh. You killed you my... Killed is your love a cellular telephone? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's possible. I kill a lot of people. And who is this love of yours? Another prince like this one? Ugly! Sorry, Dave. I didn't write it. <laughs> Rich and scabby? No. A farm boy. Poor. Poor and perfect. With eyes like the sea after a storm. My, my my eyes are brown. <laughs> Wine dark sea. The eyes, the eyes, <laughs> like the sea after pollution. And probably, if she did not hate Robert so, there would have been tears. On the high seas, your ship was attacked. The dread pirate Roberts never takes prisoners. I can't afford to make exceptions. Once word leaks out that a pirate has gone soft, hi guys. <laughs> People begin to disobey you, and then it's nothing but work, work, work all the time. You mock my pain! Life is pain! Highness, la vida anyone who's dolor. Say... Yes. Well, uh, la vida es what? Dolor. D-O-L-O-R. Yeah. La vida is dollars, <clears throat> Highness. <laughs> all dollar who's... bills. <laughs> anyone who says different is selling something. I remember this farm boy of yours, I think. <clears throat> this would be, what, five years ago? Show us five fingers, Rugen. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, wait. Down, uh -huh. The other hand. <laughs> the other hand. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> okay, buttercup nods. Does it bother you to hear his ear line? No, that's your line. Oh, no, that's, that's your line. <laughs> I had two glasses of wine very quickly. <laughs> I Does it bother you to hear? Nothing you can say will upset me. He died well. And that should please you. No bribe attempts or blabbering. He simply said, please, 
please, I need to live. It was the please that caught my memory. I asked him what was so important for him. True love, he replied. And then he spoke of a girl. You. Of surpassing <laughs> beauty and faithfulness. Uh, I can only assume he meant you. You should bless me for destroying the form. He found out that you really are. And what am I? Faithfulness, he talked of, madam. Your enduring faithfulness. Now, tell me truly, when you found out he was gone, did you get engaged to your prince that same hour? Or did you wait a whole week out of respect for the dead? You mocked me once, never do it again. I died that day. So the man in black is about to reply as they stand there on the edge of the sheer ravine, but then something catches his attention, and as he stares at it briefly, cut to his point of view, the dust cloud caused by Humperdinck's horses is rising up into the sky. <clears throat> and while his attention is on the dust cloud rising high, Buttercup pushes him with all the strength she has. You can die too for all I care. Pushes you. Uh, Cut to I'm the man in black to... teetering, <laughs> I'm just going teetering on the ravine edge. Just As you wish! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to go on yep. with the stage directions or you want to just... No, we no, no, just keep going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you're lying then, Liz. Oh. Oh, my sweet Wesley. What have I done? And without a second thought or consideration of the dangers, she starts into the ravine. A moment later, she too is falling, spinning and twisting, crashing and torn, cartwheeling down toward what is left of her beloved. There's like the two dust minutes cloud rising. Of... Yeah, just like falling down a hill. Yeah. Just falling into Springfield Gorge. <laughs> dull, dull, dull. Dull. <laughs> Cut to the dust cloud rising, pull back to reveal Prince Humperdinck and the others reigning in at the spot where Buttercup promised ransom in exchange for her freedom. The prince shakes his head. Disappeared. He must have seen us closing in, which might account for his panicking in error. Unless I'm wrong, and I'm never wrong, they are headed dead into the fire swamp. Cut to Count Rugen. The mere mention of the fire swamp makes him pale. <laughs> Cut to the ravine floor. Two bodies lay a few feet apart, not moving. It is, of course, Buttercup and Wesley. They might be corpses. After a time, Wesley slowly forces his body into They motion. might be corpses, and what are we going to do unless they are? They might be corpses. Hey. Love that band. Yep. <laughs> One of the greats. Uh. After a time, Wesley slowly forces his body into motion, and as he does, cut to Buttercup bruised and torn as Wesley crawls slowly towards her. Can you move at all? You're alive! If you want, I can fly! I told you I would always come for you. Why didn't you wait for me? Well, you were dead. Death cannot stop true love. All it can do is delay it for a while. I will never doubt again. There will never be a need. And now they begin to kiss. It's a tender kiss. Tender and loving and gentle and... Oh no. No, please. What? Up to the kid's bedroom. What? What is it? What's the matter? They're kissing again. Do we have to hear the kissing part? Someday you might not mind that much. Or maybe he's asexual. Mm. Grandpa? I mean, yeah. Or gay. Well, there's still a... I mean, that doesn't make a difference. West, West, look. Look at this for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, fair, fair. Very fair. All right, keep going. Let's get to the fire swamp. That sounded good. Oh, you're sick. I'll humor you. So, now where were we? Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, Wesley and Buttercup raced along the ravine floor. 
go onto Wesley's line? Oh, okay. Well, she go to Wesley's line. I think it's explained. Ha! Your pig fiance is too late. A few more steps, and we'll be in the fire swamp. Cut to Buttercup, and Wesley has tried to say it with cheva- chevalier-like nonchalance, but she ain't buying. We'll never survive. Nonsense. <laughs> You're only saying that because no one ever has. As they race off, leaving Humperdinck and his men stranded, defeated, cut to the fire swamp. And it really doesn't look any worse than any other moist, sulfurous, infernal horror you might run across. Great trees <laughs> block the sun. Cut to Wesley and Buttercup. Buttercup is clearly panicked, and maybe Wesley is too, but he moves, moves jauntily along, sword in hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad I, I'm not saying I'd like to build a summer home here but the trees are actually quite lovely the giant trees thick and black green look ominous as hell and they shield all but intermittent strips of sun a giant spurt of flame leaps up preceded by a slight popping sound and this particular spurt of flame misses Wesley but Buttercup is suddenly on fire at least yeah. the lower half of her is. And That's cut to Wesley. Spot. Oh no! Wesley instantly forcing Buttercup to sit, gathering her flaming hem in his hands, doing his best to suffocate the fire. This isn't all that easy, and it causes him a bit of grief, but he does his best to sound as jaunty as before. Well, well now, <coughs> uh, that was an adventure. Jauntier. Uh, <laughs> well now that was an adventure <laughs> you want I can go jauntier uh, I think that's jaunty enough yeah. I can do jauntier <laughs> I'm gonna do jauntier I believe they can yeah. do jauntier well now <laughs> that was an adventure that was Did jaunty a Wesley's life for me <laughs> yo ho yo ho oh What's the, no, those are you were singing a song from Disneyland. Stephen was singing a song from, <laughs> from Pinocchio. Oh, oh, that's right. Wait, how many a blank slide for me songs has Disney written? Way too many. <laughs> All of them. And I never ever ever feel to think about the weather because the weather never ever does a thing for me. Uh, singed a bit, oh. were you? Yeah. You. Yeah. Um, okay. He was, and he shakes his head. No. He, as he pulls her to, his, to her feet, cut to the swamp floor, and as there's another popping sound, cut to Wesley grabbing Buttercup, pulling her aside to safety as another great spun of flame suddenly shoots up. Well, one thing I will say, the fire swamp certainly does keep you on your toes. Buttercup is frozen with fear. He takes her hand, gently leads her forward as we cut to the two of them, moving slowly along through a particularly dangerous part of the fire swamp. It's later now. The sun slants down at a slightly different angle. This will all be but a happy memory because Robert's ship, the Revenge, is anchored at the far end. As you know, I am Robert's. But how is that possible? Since he's been marauding 20 years ago and you only left me five years ago. I myself am often surprised at life's little quirks. <laughs> there is again a popping sound and a huge spurt of flame. Wesley simply picks up Buttercup as they walk along, moves her out of danger, puts her back down, goes right on talking without missing a beat. You see, what I told you before about saying please was true. It intrigued Roberts, as did my descriptions of your beauty. <laughs> Cut to some hideous vines. They look like they could be flesh eating. Wesley takes his sword, slices a path for them to follow. The vines groan as they fall. He's been chatting away oh, the entire time. Do I have to? The vines are like. Uh, oh my god. The vines be like Mondays, am I right? Wes- Wesley killed the vi- vines. The vines, the vines are like. Oh man, I can't believe TikTok is gonna come soon. <laughs> <laughs> you did this, Liz. <laughs> and Beckham. <laughs> You're on TikTok as, as well. 
Oh, yeah, but most people know me for other things. So most people react to me having a TikTok like, You have a TikTok? <laughs> there. Um, finally, Roberts did something. He said, all right, Wesley, I've never had a valet. You can try it for tonight. I'm... I'll most likely kill you in the morning. <laughs> Three years he said that. Yes, Anjo? Did you have a comment to make? <laughs> what? Your sword what? has been oh. rendered inoperable. I hate when that happens. <laughs> According to the rules of dueling. <laughs> bottom, bottom, <laughs> bottom sword According may be lying. the Victor. rules of dueling, Wesley's sword has been rendered inoperable. Hopper Dick wins! <laughs> um, finally, Roberts decided something. He said, all right, Wesley, I've never had a valet. You can try it for tonight. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. Three years, he said that. Good night, Wesley. Good work. Sleep well. I'll most likely kill you in the morning. It was a fine time for me. I was learning to... Uh, fence. <laughs> Learn to fight. Anything anyone would teach me. And Roberts and I eventually became friends. And then it happened. What? Go on. Nah, I'm tired of talking. Let <laughs> me continue, Pixar princess. <laughs> uh, oh, picks you up. <laughs> picks you up, carrying her across some swamp water that is bridged by a narrow, rickety tree branch. Well, Roberts had grown so rich, he wanted to retire. So he took me to his cabin and told me his secret. I am not the Dread Pirate Roberts, he said. My name is Ryan. I Ryan inherited... Chongo Show. Yeah, my name is Ryan Chongo Show. <laughs> I inherited this ship from the previous Dread Pirate Roberts, just as you will inherit it from me. The man I inherited it from was not the real Dread Pirate Roberts either. Uh, the man he inherited it from. The man he inherited it from was not the real Dread Pirate Roberts either. His name was Cummerbund. <laughs> the real Roberts had been retired 15 years and living like a king in Patagonia. Then he explained the name was the important thing for inspiring the necessary fear. He doesn't even need to be on the ship. He's like a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> no one would surrender to the dread pirate Wesley. The two of them have by now crossed the pond. So we sailed ashore, took on an entirely new crew, and he stayed aboard for a while as first mate, all the time calling me Roberts. Once the crew believed, he left the ship, and I have been Roberts ever since. Except now that we're together, I shall retire and hand over the name to someone else. Is everything clear to you? Buttercup, perplexed, is about to reply but the ground she steps on gives way. It's lightning sand, a great patch of it, and it has her. A cloud of powder rises and she sinks into the stuff, crying Wesley's name. Cry my name. Yep. Yeah. But, <laughs> but then she is gone as we cut to Wesley whirling, slashing at a U-shaped vine. Um, don't do much slashing these days. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, yes, that'll work. Hacks it in half, it's still connected to the tree. Then he grabs it, drops his sword, and clutching the other end <coughs> of the vine, he dives down into the lightning sand. And there is another cloud of white powder, but it settles quickly. Now nothing can be seen. Nothing at all. Just the li lightning sand, lovely and lethal. Hold on the lightning sand, then 